Welcome back to Oblix, uh, the Oblix walkthrough. This, this uh, video will just be specific to water, plumbing, and that's it. Um, so the, the basics of it, kind of all of your water input's gonna be right here on this, in this uh, hatch. So you open the hatch up, light comes on. Um, you either have a hose with pressurized water from your home, or you're gonna pull water from uh, say a creek or a, another source. Uh, that you trust, that you know. Um, right now it's set up to be a, a force fed, so a, a like a city water fill, um, which is what it's on. If you were gonna be pulling water, you could go to the siphon fill. Um, obviously your hose would go here, so you'd plug in your hose, and then basically you start filling. Uh, you, the water will go into the filters, um, carbon filters, and then into a UV filter, and then into the tank. So that's the, the process of that. Here you'll also see there's the external shower, which feeds, again, a hot, cold shower for, your, for the outside, and then also the barbecue, which is right next to us here. When you were to, when or if you are to drain the system, uh, we'll get to those valve, uh, valves on the inside. Um, but of note, this is the, the blowout or freeze, uh, the freeze blowout to kind of push air through the system. Um, I would say no more than 25 PSI through the system with all the valves open to just kind of get all of that water out. So we'll move to the inside and we'll go through the rest of it. We're back in the truck now, in the habitat living space. Wanted to just run through the, the additional portions of the water from the outside hatch where you input. We're gonna go pretty much right behind that hatch uh, on the inside, of course and just see uh, and, and give you a visual on like what's going on where. Um, not blinky light, regular light. So you can see the panel for the hatch is actually right here. Um, so we're, we're literally on the back side of it. And what you'll see is the UV filter, perhaps a little bit more difficult to see, but that UV filter is located above. Um, and again, all of that, the filtering goes pre going into the tank. So everything is filtered clean before it does go into the tank. You'll also see kind of in this area specifically um, the valving for the sink that's directly above us, the drain for the sink, um, and then you kind of see some of the lines for the external shower down here. And off to our upper right, a little bit trickier, um, but the two water pumps, pumps for um, pressurizing the system internally and also pulling water from, uh, like, a, like I said, a, a stream or a creek are located above there. Um, those are accessed there and then also behind me in this this cabinet here a little bit difficult to see with me being in the way um, But things to point out specifically are the drain system. So uh, Probably the uh, most difficult of all the things in this whole thing to be able to access But if we look directly down in here, there is a blue valve if you can see um, Down in this area here. There's a blue valve down there that drains the entire uh, tank of the truck. The tank is uh, about 110 gallons in full. So um, if you ever needed to drain the system, that is where the drain is for that particularly. And then of course, if you were to drain the system, you open that, that valve first, open all of the sink valves, meaning the faucet, the shower, everything open up and let it all just drain out. And then the air fitting that I showed on the outside of the hatch, that's where you would input some air once all the things are open and then you can push the, the remaining water that might be settled somewhere through the whole lines to completely um, drain the system out. So the other portion of the water system on the inside of the truck is the bathroom, of course. So I just want to give you a quick perspective on what's going on underneath the sink. Um, there's uh, obviously cold water, hot water that are feeding both the sink and the shower. And then the valve of note is the washer dryer valve. So if you ever needed to service the washer dryer for any particular reason, the valve is located underneath there. It's a little chrome valve. I think it's a little bit up this way. Um, and you just would turn that thing off. It's just one water line feeding it. That would be it specifically if you wanted to service, again, the, the washer dryer. So that is, uh, in a, a nutshell, perhaps, the water system and draining. It is a very, very simple system. Uh, obviously, it doesn't look sim simple with all the stuff going on here, but um, has been thoughtfully put together in a way that it, it does drain easily and um, is easy to service. So thanks for taking a quick watch.